There are six steps to the vital link. First, of course, is when the public calls 911. This generates a call to the fire services and the EMS services. The next step is the call is distributed to the EMS ambulance and the fire rescue service. The following step is when there is actual scene care. This is where the EMS and the fire rescue responders provide actual care to the patient on the scene. Then there's continuing care. That would be step number five. This is the continued care of the patient while they are being transported to the medical facility. And the final step is when the patient is turned over to the emergency room staff. Through established relationships and cooperation that we share with the staff of every hospital in Southern Nevada, we are able to complete the link of providing emergency medical care. It is through this established relationship we are able to provide the best care available to every patient. EMS Week is the one time during the year that we get to recognize the people that risk their lives day to day out there on the streets with the red lights and the siren uh, to protect the public and to give the public the, the level of emergency service that they need. Another thing that's really important that sometimes we forget is the public doesn't always know what we do. So it's also our chance to educate the public and to, to show them what emergency medical services are all about and to help them to appreciate what EMTs and paramedics do on a day-to-day -day basis out there in the streets and in their homes and help them to appreciate our emergency people. Each EMS agency in Clark County reaches out to educate and inform the community in which we live. Last year, the paramedics and EMTs at American Medical Response reached 50,000 people alone because we believe our contact with the community should start before they call 911. It's the prevention and awareness information provided by each agency that helps this community continue to thrive. Clark County is set apart from the rest of the country because the EMS agencies here in this community work together to provide the best care every day. Anytime you have uh, this many visitors coming in and, and 6,000 people a month coming in, uh, it, the infrastructure is always challenged. And so I think we have a great team effort here and how we link together. Uh, private and public uh, are doing a great job in meeting the needs of our citizens, uh, whether it's flight for life or whether it's heavy rescue, a swift water rescue, or just a regular EMS call. We're working as a team and I think that's to the benefit of the community. When I was told that I was being selected as the 1998 Star of Life, I felt quite honored that my coworkers feel that, that I portray myself in an outstanding way. I don't feel I do that. I feel I do just as anybody else does on coming to work. Thank you very much for the work that you do. We're behind you 100% and keep up the good work. Thanks.